Welcome to Jason's Detail Tips, everybody. In today's episode, you're gonna get an inside look on how we train a new employee how to wash a car. Jason's Detail Tips. Welcome to Chicago Auto Pros. As our newest employee, I wanna welcome you here. Now you're gonna start off where everybody starts off and that's in the prep bay. You're gonna learn one of the most basic, but one of the most important things here at Chicago Auto Pros, and that's how to properly wash a car. All right, as a new employee here at Chicago Auto Pros, I wanna welcome you, welcome to our team. Now one of the first things that all employees start is in the prep bay. You're gonna learn the most basic but one of the most important things that we do here at Chicago Auto Pros, and that's how to wash a vehicle properly. Now, one of the first things I like to teach new employees is to get in the right mindset and teach you why we wash cars the way we do. There's a certain process that we like to stick to, and we like to stick to that process because we want to make sure that we're not instilling any scratches, swirl marks, or marring into the vehicle's paint. Now, the paint surface is very delicate. Anything that we do when we touch a car could cause damage to the paint. So everything we do in the car wash process is to minimize the risk of damaging the paint surface. Also, one of the hardest things for our new employees to understand is the difference between a maintenance wash and detailing prep. They're two different things. Now, it's only natural for us detailers to want to clean the car as much as possible, but there's certain things that just don't come off with normal washing. You have tar, you have sap, you have iron particles, you have built up brake dust. Now, all these things are gonna take additional time, additional chemicals, and different processes. And we wanna stay within a certain time frame when we're washing a car, and we wanna make sure that we're delivering consistent results on every wash that we do. All right, so the first step of the wash process is gonna to be to rinse the vehicle. We wanna rinse off all the salt, the dirt, anything that could potentially get in the mitt and scratch the paint. We're gonna use this pressure washer. The pressure washer is a great tool to rinse off the car. We're gonna rinse the wheel well and the wheels at the same time. But with any tool, you wanna to make sure you know how to properly use it. You wanna keep this tip anywhere from a foot to a foot and a half off the vehicle surface. We don't wanna damage anything. And you also wanna be aware of sensitive areas on the vehicle, any damage. Stay away from convertible tops, any soft convertible tops. You wanna stay far away. You don't wanna damage anything. All right, so the first step to the washing process is the wheels. Also, wear gloves too. Um, now, we're gonna have a wheel bucket. You should have a wheel bucket on each side of the vehicle for convenience. We have different types of tools in these buckets. Let me show you real quick. So we have our mitt here. This is used for cleaning the face of the rim, especially black rims. It's nice and soft so we won't damage it. We have a couple different brushes that we use. Um, this is a bristle brush and then we have wheel woolies. This is my favorite for getting inside the barrel of the rim. Um, we also have just a regular microfiber that you can use. Um, sometimes I'll use that on the wheel wells and the face of the rim. Uh, we have smaller uh, wheel woolies that you can use to get behind the caliper. And then we have just your regular normal uh, wheel brush here. This can be used for the rubber or for the face. Like I said, again, I don't like to use these bristles um, when it comes to black rims like this. I just don't want to risk scratching it. I'd rather use a softer material like this wash mitt or a microfiber like this. So we're gonna start by using our all-purpose degreaser here. We use this on rubber engines and tires. We're gonna spray down the entire wheel. The rubber part, the barrel, and the wheel well. We're gonna start by cleaning the barrel. I'm gonna use my favorite tool here, the wheel woolly, and we're gonna clean the barrel of the rim, making sure to get behind these spokes so you gotta kinda maneuver the brush back and forth a little bit, get all the way back in there. We're gonna clean the face of the rim. I'll use this mitt right here to clean the face of the rim. We have a couple different brushes that we use. Um, this is a bristle brush. I use this brush here to clean the rubber part of the tire. And then on a normal detail prep, we would clean the entire fender well here, but for when we're just doing our maintenance wash, we're just cleaning the edge here. So you can take that microfiber and just clean that edge. 
We're gonna rinse the tire. We're gonna work one wheel at a time. We got three more wheels to do. Make sure you don't have that chemical dry on there. So let's rinse it and move on. Scratching it, I'd rather use a softer material like this wash mitt or a microfiber like all right getting ready to wash the body of the car we have two buckets here we have one filled with just water and the other one is our soap and water and each of the buckets on the bottom we have these grit guards now these are going to act like a barrier for the mitt because on the bottom of the bucket you're going to collect all that dirt and salt and grime and everything and we don't want this mitt to pick up any of that and transfer it to the car so those grit guards will act as a barrier between that mitt and the bottom of the bucket All right, if the vehicle has bugs on the front, you can use the same degreaser that you used on the wheel cleaner and you can spray the front here. This is gonna help loosen up all those bug guts. And it's a stronger cleaner than the regular soap that we're gonna use. For the rest of the vehicle, we're gonna use our snow foam and just cover the entire car. All right, grab your mitt and we're actually gonna start washing the vehicle. Now, when you're washing the vehicle, you don't wanna put any pressure on the wash mitt. It should just be the weight of the mitt back and forth. And we always start at the top and I'll work our way to the bottom. I'm gonna clean the half of the top here and I'm gonna clean this windshield and then I'm gonna rinse the mitt off. When you rinse it, bring it over to your water bucket. Rinse it nice, you can rub it on the bottom there, the grit guard, wring it out, dip it back in your soap, and you can come wash another panel. Now, when you're washing this panel, you can see that I'm using kind of like a back and forth motion, uh, almost like a grid. You can go back and forth here. You don't wanna do like the crazy eights where you get into washing like this. Um, you're gonna miss spots, it's just natural. So use that kind of grid pattern and again, no pressure, just the weight of the mitt is gonna be enough to clean that surface dirt off. So we're gonna use our snow foam and just cover the entire car. All right, so the bottom of the vehicle is always gonna be your dirtiest part of the vehicle. So that's why we always wash from the top to the bottom. That bottom should be the last part that you wash. And this is gonna be your dirt. You're gonna have dirt in this mitt. Now you don't want to come back and wash anything now that you have a dirty mitt. You wanna make sure that you rinse this before you go to any other part of the car because all that dirt and all that grime on there, if you come up to this panel and start washing, now you're gonna start grinding in all that salt and that dirt and that's where all the scratching and that's where all the marring comes from. So best wash practices, get back and rinse it, rub it against that grit guard and you can continue washing from the top. all the way down to the bottom. If you wanna make sure that bottom is really clean, sometimes I'll just flip the mitt and I'll give it one more good cleaning. All right, for bigger SUVs or trucks or cars that you just can't get the roof, um, you might be tempted to open up the door and to step up on the rocker panel, but you definitely don't wanna do that. You could have rocks in your shoes that could scratch it. The better idea is to bring over the step ladder that we have and you can step on it and then you can safely wash the top of the big truck or SUV or van or whatever you're working on. All right, after you wash the entire body, you can now rinse the vehicle. Again, make sure you're doing it from top to bottom. All right, when you're rinsing the vehicle and if you notice that the water on the panel is very flat, it makes it hard to dry it because there's a lot of water to dry off the vehicle. So a solution for that is to use our drying agent. You'll just spray the entire vehicle real quick and then rinse it off. This is gonna make it hydrophobic and it's gonna make it a lot easier to wash.
All right, now that the paint is nice and hydrophobic, we can use our blower. This is gonna blow all that beating hydrophobic water off. It's gonna help uh, clear all of the cracks, crevices, and the mirrors. You can use it on the tires and the rims too. Again, work from the top to the bottom. All right, when it comes to drying the vehicle, use these nice big microfiber waffle weave towels. You're gonna have two of them. One is gonna be your main drying hand. You wanna get most of the water up with this main one, and that's gonna be your first towel that you use on most of the panels, and then come back with the second one. Again, just like washing the car, nice and light. There's no need to overuse excessive pressure or anything, just nice and light. First towel and then your second towel to wipe off any excess water. All right, we have two types of washes. We have our basic wash, which is the one that I just showed you. We're just gonna dry the vehicle. We also have a signature wash, and that's gonna add this spray sealant, SiO2 spray sealant on it. And I really like this because one, it adds some protection, and two, it adds lubrication between the, the paint and the towel. So you can spray just a couple sprays right on the towel. And then you're gonna dry off the vehicle like normal. And then use your second towel again to remove all the residue. And it's that simple. Work panel by panel. Couple sprays. I'll work this fender. I'll just dry everything off the fender there. Come back with my second towel. And just wipe up all the residue and work your way around the vehicle the same way. This can go on the windows. After you finish drying the vehicle, we're gonna clean the door jams, but we don't wanna use these nice body towels um, and get them all gross with all the grease and everything that's in the door jams. We use these separate towels here, these separate microfiber towels. Pretty simple, open up all the door jams and wipe them all down. Now, if it's a Tesla or a Porsche or something that has a rear engine, we wanna lift up that front and clean all the door jams and the trunk jams too. All right, if the customer wants tire shine, you can apply the tire shine, and then we're gonna bring it outside and make sure you double check the car. If you find any small spots that you missed, you can grab some O&R and a nice microfiber towel and spray the towel and gently wipe any spots that you may have missed when you, on the washing process. Uh, bring an extra towel too to wipe off all the excess tire shine, and that's pretty much it. That's all you need to know about washing a car. It's pretty simple if you have the right tools and the right process. If you got any questions, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, thanks for watching Jason's Detail Tips.